based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. I, Alma, have been consecrated by my father, Alma, to be a high priest over the Church of God. He began to establish a church, and he did baptize his brethren in the waters of Mormon. And they were delivered out of the hands of the people of King Noah by the mercy and power of God. And after that, they were brought into bondage by the hands of the Lamanites, and again, the Lord did deliver them out of bondage by the power of his word. And we were brought into this land, and here we began to establish the church of God. I say unto you that belong to this church, have you sufficiently retained in remembrance the captivity of your fathers? And have you sufficiently retained in remembrance his mercy and long suffering towards them? He changed their hearts. Yea, he awakened them out of a deep sleep and they awoke unto God. Their souls were illuminated as my father preached the word of God unto your fathers, and a mighty change was wrought in their hearts. And they humbled themselves and put their trust in the true and living God. And they were faithful until the end, therefore they were saved. And now I ask, have ye spiritually been born of God? Have ye received his image in your countenances? Have ye experienced this mighty change in your hearts? Can you imagine to yourselves that ye hear the voice of the Lord saying unto you, Come unto me, ye blessed, for behold, your works have been the works of righteousness. Can you look up to God at that day with a pure heart and clean hands? If you have experienced a change of heart, and if you have felt to sing the song of redeeming love, can you feel so now? Could you say, if you were called to die at this time, that you have been sufficiently humble, that your garments have been cleansed and made white through the blood of Christ, who will come to redeem his people from their sins? Are you stripped of pride? I say unto you, if ye are not, ye are not prepared to meet God. The Lord God sendeth an invitation unto all men, for the arms of mercy are extended towards them, and he saith, Repent, and I will receive you. The good shepherd doth call you, and in his own name he doth call you, which is the name of Christ. And if ye will not hearken unto the voice of the good shepherd, ye are not the sheep of the Good Shepherd. I testify unto you that I do know that the things whereof I have spoken are true. I have fasted and prayed many days that I might know, and the Lord God hath made them manifest unto me by his Holy Spirit. I know that Jesus Christ shall come, yea, the Son, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and mercy and truth. And behold, it is he that cometh to take away the sins of the world, yea, the sins of every man who steadfastly believeth on his name. And now I say unto you that the Good Shepherd doth call after you. And if you will hearken unto his voice, he will bring you into his fold, and ye are his sheep. I speak by way of command unto you that belong to the church, and unto those who do not belong to the church, I speak by way of invitation, saying, Come, and be baptized unto repentance, that ye also may be partakers of the fruit of the tree of life. And gather together oft, and join in fasting and mighty prayer in behalf of the welfare of the souls of those who know not God.